So I really want to find out if acrylic airbrush paints are 100% non-toxic or not. Are there some ingredients in, in the paints which could be harmful for your health or even toxic? I really need to know. Because since I do not only have the best but the smartest subscriber also, I got some comments in my acrylic testing video. And that was the reason why I did some research on acrylic airbrush paints. And I thought that if you airbrush acrylic paints, you will also need thinner. So I did some research on the ingredients of the thinner as well. And eventually to prevent your airbrush from clogging or the um, uh, needle tip dry or something, you maybe also use retarder or flow improver. So I did a little research on the flow improver ingredients as well. And yeah, I really need to know are there any toxic or harmful ingredients in there? You ready to find out? Let's go. So in my acrylic testing video, I had the following sequence. Let's have a look. So another beautiful thing about working with acrylic paints, you see that arm right there? That's the arm of my seven-year-old daughter. So while I'm doing this test and spraying that wing, she can stand right next to me. It's not a problem because it's not um, harmful. It's not bad for your health if you use acrylic paints. That's lovely. Then I found the following comments, okay? Uh, let me see where it is. Yeah, here. For instance, at Flux NZ. NZ, I guess that's, is that New Zealand? Although the paints are acrylic paint slash thinner particulates in the air will always be unhealthy. You should still be taking precautions sh such as a spray booth, extractor, respirator, especially for your daughter. Um, I said, yeah, I mean, my daughter is not constantly, constantly standing next to me, but yeah, I did a little research and, um, Anyway, I will have a spray booth soon, so this problem will be solved anyway. But just want to say that, I mean, from time to time they walk in when, I'm, when the coincidence is there that I'm, I'm actually spraying something and they will maybe come and check out what daddy is doing. They're not constantly um, standing right next to me when I do some crazy pre-shading stuff or something like that. But of course, I want to take measures. I don't want to harm my kids uh, health so that's why I did this video to be really sure but because that made me uh, a bit uh, suspicious like hey what is going on um, maybe we have to really have a look into it there was another guy he also commented on the same I think here yeah Chris Chris Stedman Whilst acrylic are non-toxic, they still produce airborne particulate when put through an airbrush that you and your daughter will be breathing into your lungs. So, yeah, that is true. And I said, and I thought like, yeah, I know, but it's not harmful. Or is it? So let's check it out. So in my research, I limited down and kind of narrowed it to Vallejo Model Air because these are the paints that I mostly use. Then the... Um, airbrush thinner of Vallejo and the airbrush flow improver which is some sort of like the um, equivalent of uh, retarder so here we have the sheet of Vallejo model air okay so let's have a look safety data sheets model air now when we go down here we can see that these are this is the composition the information on ingredients and and the substance we have here is alcohols, okay? And etoxylated, butoxylated. And here we see the concentration. It's quite a low concentration. But then if we scroll further down here, this is the toxicological information here. And we, if we um, have a look at the dangerous health implications here, inhalation acute effect and it says based on available data the classification criteria are not met and it does not contain substances classified as dangerous for inhalation for more information see section 3 that's where we came from so the criteria are not met it's non-toxic it's not harming the paint is, is fine. What we have are the pigments. People are talking about the pigments. Yes, um, the inhalation of pigments 
is harmful to your health, depending also a bit if these are natural pigments or not. The natural ones are really to be handled with care. They are dangerous. But also the other ones, it, it's, it's a bit tricky when you work with the dry pigments. But the pigments in the paints, within the paint bottles, they are mixed with the solvent. So far, so good. Now let's have a look at the flow improver. We have the same safety data sheet uh, of Vallejo here. And we're gonna go to section three where we have the information on ingredients. And in here, what is mentioned is butoxyethanol, okay? Butoxyethanol. And we see the concentration is higher. Um, the concentrations of the alcohol liquids in the paints was much more below that right here. It's um, below 10%, but 2.5. Also, of course, with the flow improver, you only need a few drops. What it says on the bottle is like one or two drops for every 10 drops of paint. So we only use a few drops of the flow improver. But let's find out about butoxyethanol. We go down here to the other section again, where they speak about the toxi toxicity. So we go down here to section 11, toxicological information. And we are looking for B, inhalation acute effect. Come on. We are looking for B, inhalation. What is going on? Based on available data, the classification criteria are not met. Okay? So again, same with the paints. However, it contains substances classified as dangerous for inhalation. For more information, see section 3. That's where we came from. So we got to check. What exactly is butoxyethanol? How harmful is it? Okay. So yeah, I know some people don't like Wikipedia. I like Wikipedia because it has general information. Now, I don't want to do a certain um, experiment or something with butoxyethanol where I need to know absolutely everything. I just want to know if it's harmful if you inhale it or how, how harmful is it? Because in the uh, Vallejo safety data sheet, it says it is harmful. So let's have a look. Butoxyethanol is an organic compound with the chemical formula, da da da. This colorless liquid has a sweet ether-like odor and it derives from the family of glucol ethers. But is a butyl ether of, yeah, whatever. Uh, da, 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 da. Non volatile, so, so it's a known respirant. It's a known resp. Okay. It is known respiratory irritant and, and can be acutely toxic. But animal studies did not find it to be mutagenic. And no study suggests it is a human carci carcinogen. Okay? It is not a human carcinogen. Sorry, I don't know to pronounce all these words properly in English. I just use the German pronunciation if I don't know exactly how to pronounce it. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uses. Commercial in the pinch of safety. Ah, okay. Butoxyethanol has a low acute toxicity. Okay? Laboratory test by the US National Toxicology have shown it. Exposure to high concentrations can cause adrenal tumors in animals. Okay, so the AC, ACGIH reports that butoxyethanol is carcinogenic in rodents. These rodent tests may not directly translate to carcinogenicity in humans, as the observed mechanism of cancer involves the rodents for stomach, which humans lack. Humans don't have that. So the OSHA does not regulate butoxyethanol as a carcinogen. Okay, okay. So this butoxyethanol can be harmful and yeah, it can be sort of toxic on animals. On the four, in the four stomach of animals, right? If I got that right. But we don't have that four stomach. So it's not really proven how it really, uh, if it's also harmful or in what grade it, it is really harmful 
for your health when you inhale it, especially in this low concentration. But it is, we have to consider this in the future. The flow improver is not 100% clean. Let's put it this way. Okay, so the paint is clean. Flow improver, not 100%, but almost. Now let's check the thinner. This will be interesting. This will be revealing. I'm telling you. Airbrush thinner, here's the safety data sheet. Unfortunately, I just found it on in, in German and not in English, but it's actually the same we see in the other one. And um, what we have here, the, the chemical ingredient is put, butyl glucol. Now let's go down, head down to the toxicity. Here it says Einatmung. That means inhalation. Okay, so acute toxicity um, it's the same, for the, the criteria are not met, they are not met, but it contains a substance which is um, categorized as harmful when you inhale it. Same with the butoxy ethanol. So let's have a look, a safety data sheet of the butyl glucol, that's the ingredient in the thinner. Now we're gonna we're gonna um, have a look here. It's in German. I know, I know it's in German, but I can, I can translate. Okay. So um, acute toxicity uh, inhalation is a category three, right? It's acute toxic category three. So it is. This ingredient, butyl glucol, in the airbrush thinner of Vallejo is toxic. Giftig beim Einatmen says here it's toxic if inhaled. Okay, so um, should be avoided, you know, inhalation, aerosol or fume or, or um, um, gas, smoke, anything of it should be avoided. Not, no good, no good, okay. There are a lot of specification here. A lot of stuff is written. Most of it I don't really, I don't really get. So I don't want to talk about too much and and just um, talk some rubbish. Um, but there are the um, the Grenzwerte. I, I need to quickly check. Here you can see what I do if I don't know the word. Grenzwerte in English. I can't write now because I'm live. Limits. Limits? Okay. I don't know. The limits. Here are the limits of the exposition. So it's like 98 milligram per cubic meter or 1091 milligram per cubic meter or or 2040 or 246. Now I don't know exactly what are these Ah, here, chronic. Okay, if it's chronic, if it's... <laughs> ah, okay, I see the difference here. It's like chronic systematic effect, acute systematic effect, or acute local effect. So I think we have to deal with this one. 246 milligram per cubic meter. That's the limit. That's the limit. Everything above gets harmful for your health. Now we're going to check this butyl glucol, like there's a safety sheet here if you want to buy this, uh, just like a big bottle of it. Uh, it also says here, giftig beim Einatmen, means toxic if you inhale, if inhaled, okay? Um, of course, when you swallow it, when it comes on your skin and also the eyes, you should absolutely avoid the contact. So here it says the same thing, actually. Same thing. You should avoid breathing in of uh, smoke, gas, dust, uh, fume, and aerosol of it. The definition is not toxic. It is harmful for the health. So um, it's not in the category of being toxic. But I mean, harmful is, is enough already, right? Harmful is enough already. What I also found is this website here of Mobilo, Mobilo Clean Handelsgruppe. It is because butyl, butyl glucol is an ingredient in a lot of um, uh, cleaning products. So there it is also, uh, yeah, an important topic, 
how toxic is the in inhalation of any fumes and gas and smoke and aerosol of butyl glycol. So, uh, yeah, they use this for um, cleaning buildings, industrial cleaning of buildings. Uh, so, the ingredient is after the actual REACH um, declaration, uh, acute toxic category 4. Oral, if you swallow it, and if you inhale it. But here it says, over the uh, declaration of the um, acute toxicity, if you inhale it, they still have to decide because then companies have to remove it. They have to remove it and replace it with something similar, which is not toxic. So why don't you do this from the beginning? Why don't you do this from the start? Vallejo, why you have this stuff in there? Why doesn't it says here, why it's not declared on the bottle that this thinner contains an ingredient which is harmful for your health if you inhale the aerosol. It should be mentioned. I think it should be mentioned, right? So the summary is that the acrylic airbrush paints of Vallejo, the model air, they are clean. They are not harmful. The flow improver, however, has an ingredient, the butoxyethanol, which maybe could be. So it's better to avoid inhaling too much of it. It's a good thing that for the, for the flow improver, we only use one or two drops of flow improver to every 10 drops of paint. But still, it's not 100% clean, not 100%. And then the real thing is the thinner, right? The butyl glucol in the thinner, which is classified as acute toxic. It is sort of toxic. It's only maybe a matter of time until they will declare it also as toxic toxic and at the moment it's harmful but I'm, i think even now with the declaration of harmful for your health if inhaled that's enough because with the thinner you use much more than with flow improver right sometimes i mean often it's 50 50 paint thinner and sometimes you even have more thinner like 60 percent thinner so the stuff is all over here. If I spray it and if I don't have anything, then yeah, this will harm my health. That's why after I finished my research here, with the butyl glucol, my next research was this. Ah, airbrush painting booth. Is this any good? Let's see. <laughs> so I hope this video was interesting or helpful for you when you work with acrylic airbrush paints in the future. Acrylic airbrush paints or their side products, especially the side products, right? And if yes, you might want to have a look at this acrylic testing video right here. Okay, so until then, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.